Hello everyone, I'm Kerry Lou and welcome to Silver Style Studio. Quite a few people have made some nice comments about my teeth, thank you for that, and you've asked me how I take care of them. So I thought I would make this video telling you all about my teeth and at my age it's a long story. <laughs> so what I was born with and what I have now. I do feel like if you take care of your teeth, they will help make you look much younger, even if it's going for a regular checkup and cleaning. I'm going to share with you some photos of different stages in my childhood and teen years. And I'm very sensitive about the teen pictures because I definitely felt I was going through an awkward phase and the teeth definitely were not helping. Anyway, I'm going to take a leap of faith and show them to you because I know you're all sweet, kind people and that's going to help me explain my dental history. Okay, so let's go way back. Look at this sweet little girl with those dainty little white pearly teeth. Very sweet, right? But little did I know what was to come. Lo and behold, horrors! When I was older, they turned into this. And the over-tweezed eyebrows and the moustache didn't help much either. <laughs> we all make mistakes, don't we? So here is what my teeth looked like. Yes, I looked like Count Dracula, for real. Um, I had these two lovely front teeth. They were fine, but the ones either side of the front teeth were grown in, twisted, sideways on. Now, if I was in America, they would have just put some nice braces on me and one year later I would have been fine. But I'm not sure if this dentist was experimenting or something, but he decided to make those two side teeth, drill them into peg shapes and put caps over the top of them. They looked better. They did look better initially, but they just didn't fit right with my lower teeth. It, it was a terrible idea, and I'm sure any dentist out there would agree with me that was not the thing to do to a 14-year-old kid. So I lived with them for a while, and like I said, they did look so much better than they did before. So they gave me a lot of confidence and I was fine. They caused me problems over the years, but they looked good. Now here's what happened about 10 years ago. I was eating a slice of pizza and one of the caps just broke clean off. I was horrified and it wasn't a tough piece of pizza either. I was at home, thankfully, with my husband, so he helped calm me down. But there I was with a tooth completely missing. It, I, I, was, I was aghast, I really was. And my husband said, don't worry, I, I know the best dentist on the planet. And she really is, Dr. Helena Chavanas of Manhattan. She's been taking care of my teeth for years now. I went over to her and she had to put a gold post in because the little peg that the previous dentist had drilled had completely snapped off. She put a gold post and here's an x-ray of it just so you can see my teeth in lovely detail. These are all the things that have been done to my teeth over the years. So I know you all think I've got lovely teeth and I'm happy with them, but I've definitely put a lot of work and a lot of money into these teeth. As I approached my 60s, my teeth, my lower teeth started crowding and crisscrossing and it was happening quite rapidly. So my dentist recommended that I try Invisalign I went to Dr. Frank Salenza in Manhattan and this is my Invisalign. So let me tell you about this. I went in to see Dr. Salenza and he made a 3D scan of my teeth. So I didn't have to use, I didn't have to have one of those horrible putty filled 
things put into my mouth. I don't know if you've ever had a mold taken of your teeth, but they probably still do this too. It, it's like this horseshoe shaped thing and it's filled with putty and they stick it in your teeth and it makes you gag. It's really horrible, but we didn't have to do that this time. We used um, this 3D scanning machine and it made uh, a perfect mold of my teeth. Let me show you my retainer. I'm still wearing this um, these days. This was done a couple of years ago and um, even after treatment, you still have to wear this retainer at night. Um, but I'm jumping the gun a bit. I want to tell you what happened after they, they measure you. They send you about 20 of these retainers. Each retainer takes you one step closer to your ideal teeth alignment. They tell you to wear your retainer about 21 hours a day, which is a lot. That was surprising to me because you have to take them out for eating and for drinking. Uh, you can drink water, but nothing else. Otherwise the retainer will fill up with coffee, tea or wine and you would look really funny. You, you have to get used to taking them in and out of your mouth. When, when the doctor first put them in, in his dentistry office, it's a little bit of a panicky feeling because all of a sudden there's this really tight feeling and they are a little tricky to get out in the beginning. But my dentist gave me this little tool that was almost like a crochet needle and I used that in the beginning. But after a while, I, I was just taking them in and out really quickly. You do get used to it. But like I said, there was a little bit of a panicky feeling at first. It's been about two years now since the treatment and I still wear this on my top teeth and I have a metal brace on, the, on my lower teeth behind my teeth. It's just like a very thin metal bar. And that was a bit of a surprise to me. Um, I didn't realize I would, I would have to have that put in and it stays in like forever because if I take it out, especially at my age, my teeth will start to cross again. But anyway, I wanted to show you how easy it was to put this in. So here goes. Just like that. Um, I feel like the ones I wore on a day-to-day -day basis fit even better. I don't know if you can see this. Hello. Anyway, I'm going to take it out now. Like I say, I only wear this one at night now. So I just, huh? Easy peasy. Sorry, that was gross. <laughs> Let's talk about the cost. I'm sure many of you are wondering how much something like this cost. It does depend on what shape your teeth are in to begin with. It costs anywhere from 2,500 to 7,000 typically. That's a lot of money, I know. The, the way I think about it is, at my age, I haven't had a facelift, I don't do injectables, I don't do Botox. This was, this was my treat. And I spread it out over a couple of years. They do give you a payment plan. So it's not for everyone. But like I said before, even if you go for regular checkups, make sure your teeth are cleaned a couple of times a year, professionally cleaned. I mean, not you clean them a couple of times a year. Other things I do, um, I use this uh, water flosser by Waterpick. It, it's um, like flossing, but it's with water. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's out of control. But, but this is really good. You just um, put it like this in your teeth. You go around all your little spaces. You put it right in the back and it keeps your teeth nice and clean using water. And this is the Oral B, Braun Oral B electric toothbrush. I use that too. That was recommended by my dentist. So, I use it. 
I'm trying to think of all the things I do for my teeth because I know you're going to be asking in the comments below. I floss using regular floss. I use the water pick. I use the electric toothbrush. I use white strips and I love to go for cleanings. I know a lot of people don't like cleanings at the dentist, but I go about three times a year. Okay, so now you know the history of my dentistry. It's not just good genetics. If you have any questions about Invisalign or anything else that I've spoken about today, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And that's it for me for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and keep smiling. Till next time, I'll see you.